layoff, hard competition, extremely high expectations. Is the tech job market a real scary place right now? Yes and no. Stick around because I'm about to share with you why there's still hope even in this roller coaster of a job market. What's up, y'all? Tech Back Trade here. If you've been following tech news or just looking for a job in the industry, you've probably seen some pretty sad headlines. But today, we're going to dive into why the tech market seems to actually suck right now. But don't worry, it's not all bad. All right, we're going to also take a look at some of the good parts and the strategies that can help you navigate some of these tough times right now. All right, so let's get to it. But before we actually dive in, let me ask you this. What if I told you that despite all the bad news, there's still a hidden opportunity that most people are actually overlooking? And I'll get into that soon, but first, let's talk about what's really going on with tech layoffs. All right, so let's address the elephant in the room. Tech layoffs, they're everywhere and they are scary. All right, the numbers are pretty wild right now. All right, in the first quarter of 2024, over 270 tech companies laid off more than 70,000 employees. That's enough to make anybody question what kind of career choices they actually thinking about right now, right? But here's the thing, while layoffs are happening, that's not the whole story, okay? The average daily tech layoffs have declined by about 20% compared to last year. And get this, a ZipRecruiter survey found out that about 74% of laid off tech workers found new jobs in tech. So yeah, the market is tough, but it's far from impossible to make some shape. All right, so think about the tech job market like a game of musical chairs, okay? Yes, some of those chairs are being snatched away, but new ones are also being added just in different areas of the room. So the key, you gotta be quick, adaptable, and then know where to look. Now, you might be wondering, if people are finding new jobs, why is it feeling so hard for us to get new ones? And that's a great question. All right, then the answer is probably gonna surprise you. But before we get to that, let me share a resource that actually changed my own tech career journey and trajectory. Now, when I was lost in my own journey and trying to figure out a new place to get into, you know, it ended up being the tech industry. Now, during my job search, I was hearing the same thing about tech layoffs and competition. Now, I found course careers. I went through their free introductory course and then went through their actual course. And it actually opened my eyes to more diverse opportunities through tech sales. And then it gave me the skills to actually end up getting into that high demand area of the tech industry. Now, if you're feeling stuck right now or unsure about your next move in tech, I highly recommend checking it out it definitely could be the game changer that you need during this challenging market that's going on. Now, you can find a link to them down below. Now, let's get back to why finding a job feels so tough for you right now. Now, here's the thing that gets real interesting. Despite all the layoffs, the number of open tech jobs is actually increasing. You might be thinking to yourself, all right, if there's more jobs, then why does it feel so hard to get one? There's a catch. All right, some recent data shows there are 211,000 open tech jobs, which is a 29.5% increase from the low of March of 2023. That's good news. But here's the kicker. For every open software engineer job, there are reportedly three times as many candidates and the competition is a little hard right now for them. All right. So it's really like a popular restaurant. Like they're just adding more tables. Okay. So yeah, sure. There is more seating but now everybody in town knows about it and they wanna eat there too. So you're probably just gonna to have to wait a little bit longer or just try a different strategy to get a spot, AKA knowing the owner, AKA knowing a waitress. You know, knowing somebody can definitely get you in the door, okay? Remember that hidden opportunity I mentioned earlier? It's actually tied to where the real growth is happening in tech, all right? And it's not where most people are looking at right now. While some areas of tech are struggling, now, others are booming. Now, the trick is knowing where to look, okay? So you might feel like your skills are becoming obsolete or you know there's not a place for you in, in this new tech space, but I'm telling you right now, it's not true, okay? Certain spaces like AI or cybersecurity, cloud computing, they're experiencing some high demand right now and there's a surprising twist. A lot of tech workers are finding success in non-traditional tech companies. So as more companies and industries continue to digitize, they're hungry for tech talent, all right? And, and a lot of people, they try and they look to get in only in one space and you gotta expand your mind, all right? There are a lot of companies out there that aren't considered tech companies, 
but they have a tech side of the business and that's your key to get in, okay? Like I used to work in a pharmacy, a huge one. Um, the building I worked in was 1200 people. And I remember the tech part of that company, like our IT team, that it was fire. It looked like, like they was having a good time. Everybody wanted to be over there. Yeah, in my mind, I thought I had to have a degree or, you know, kind of do extra stuff and certificates that I didn't have to be able to get over there. And to be honest, that was far from the truth. What I know now, you know, to be able to get into an entry level IT role and then pivot into a cybersecurity without a degree, without an experience, you can definitely do it. And of course, careers is one of the ways that you can do that right now. Uh, but anyways, you know, this is right now, it's like being a surfer, okay? The waves in your usual spots, they're probably flat right now. But if you're willing to go out a little bit further or just try a whole different beach, you might just catch that wave, the biggest one of your life. All right, so now that you know where the opportunities are, now you wanna probably know how to actually land one of the jobs. And I do have some strategies that might surprise you, but first, let's talk about why the job market has changed so dramatically. Now, the tech market hasn't just changed, it's actually went through a huge shift, okay? So you might be applying the jobs the same way you used to back in the day, but you're finding that it's really not working. All right, now why? It's called the great resignation. It's called the work from home era that's really, you know, basically it's drastically increased job seekers expectation. Now these jobs, they're looking for different skills and there's a growing need for qualified workers in the tech space that's always changing, right? Now the, the unemployment rate for tech occupations is at about 3.4 as of this past August, which is slightly up from 3.2 in this past July. Now it's getting competitive y'all, but it's not impossible, okay? It's like the rules of the game just changed while we were playing. All we gotta do is learn the new rules and then we'll understand, right? Hey, sometimes the life changes. It just is what it is. Now, how do you actually find a job in this new space? All right, here's the strategy I promised you earlier. Number one, you wanna focus on developing skills in high demand areas like AI, cybersecurity, cloud computing, tech sales now remember that free course that i mentioned remember that free course i mentioned good place to start number two be open to opportunities in non-tech spaces that are digitizing right remember non-tech companies need tech love too number three don't overlook short-term positions or project work now that can be a great stepping stone for you right you go ahead and work on those now you can add those to your resume you can talk about things you've done and it can just be an overall better look, all right, than not doing it at all. Number four, consider government tech jobs. Now your state, your local government, they're actually showing less caution right now in hiring compared to the private tech space and private tech companies, right? So try those as well. You know, think of your career like a Swiss army knife or something, right? The more tools that you have, the more problems you can solve. And then sometimes those tools that you least expect are the ones that really open those doors. So try them all, okay? Now, look y'all, I'm also not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it, all right? The tech job market is tough right now, but it's definitely far from hopeless, it's definitely far from over. And yes, there are layoffs happening right now. Competition is high, but there are also new opportunities that are coming up every single day. I see them on LinkedIn all the time. And spaces are booming, all right? There are strategies that you can use to stand out on right here. Okay, remember y'all, layoffs are happening, now, but there are a lot of tech workers that are quickly finding new roles. Job offers are increasing, even though competition is getting hard. And then there are spaces like AI, cybersecurity, cloud computing, they're hungry for talent right now, right? Non-traditional tech roles in other industries that really can offer you that unexpected opportunity and then you can transfer over into a, a normal tech space after some experience and then upskilling, you know, being flexible, looking outside the obvious that can actually give you that slight edge that you need, right? You only need one chance. You only need one person, one team to take that chance on you. And you can do that, I promise you. Just gotta put in some work. Now, the tech industry is not dying. All it's doing is evolving. And with the right approach, you can evolve with it and you can actually get in and thrive as well. So if this video has given you a new perspective on the tech job market, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe as well for more insights and navigating your tech career. Drop a comment below, 
you know, share some of your experiences. If I can answer any questions for you, I definitely will. And don't forget to check out that free introductory course from Course Careers that I mentioned if you want to explore a new space in tech. I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.